Good afternoon and welcome back to another ironic introduction to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a first impressions of Jubilee. As always, there is a link to the forum in the description below. But that said, uh, just a quick runoff here. She looks like a defender. Uh, she does not look great to me. I could be wrong, but that's just my first impression. I'm really not impressed at all. Uh, she has okay stats, like her attack is relatively average, her health is a little low, but that's to be expected. Uh, she is a mutant, and she has some really cool potential and some really solid potential for good utility. It's just a little lackluster on the numbers, and you'll see that in a moment. So she has this neat ability called Fireworks, where she rotates between orange, pink, and blue fireworks, and whenever you use a light or a medium attack, it rotates those fireworks. And then you can lock in those fireworks to gain extra values from like your special attacks, which has a lot of really good potential. Uh, all of her attacks are energy damage, so if you need an energy damaging dealing champion, this is that option there. Uh, and you can lock in one of your fireworks at the start of the fight for 16 seconds if you want something in particular. Uh, and for like reference, orange is your damage one, which gives you 55% of hit damage as a burst on energy as energy as energy damage pink uh, would give you the opponent suffer minus 30 percent defensive combat power rate and blue gives you the opponent suffer 50 percent defensive ability accuracy reduction so this is kind of where i say she hits lackluster uh like the orange is solid i like the 55 percent um burst that's actually really cool uh but this is already makes me think of claire and I think the thing that I hate the most about Claire is having to choose between utility and damage. And like, we're not even talking about like such an exceptional amount of damage that her puts her over the charts. Like, it's just like a good amount of damage. Claire in her damage phase puts her on the table for damage. Um, her damage when you're not in the damage phase is like strictly subpar. Uh, and that's kind of how I feel like about Jubilee right now. That's where I think she's going to be. Where if you're not in this orange firework phase, you're just going to be like, where's my damage? Um, and I don't like that. I, I really, really wish that if you're going to make someone choose damage or utility, that the damage was like really, really impactful. But I could be wrong. I don't know the numbers yet. That's just kind of what I'm seeing here with the 55% of burst. Um, and then the second thing where I see like huge fault is minus 30% defensive combat power rate. If you're going to put a power control mutant in the in the game, I would have really liked it to see like actual power control. Defensive combat power rate like is not the greatest control and only minus 30% really isn't a lot. Now there is access to more later on, but just remember that at base it's minus 30%. Uh, and then minus 50% defensive ability actually reduction. It's actually like okay for blue, um, but you know how I am with percentages. If you're going for ability accuracy, you want minus 100%. You want a minus 100%. Anything less than that is just instantly like question mark. Uh, so remember that we have 50% potential there as well as we move on to more complicated abilities because this champion has a lot of really good potential, but super complicated. So you uh, gain prowesses by attacking, and this is increased if you intercept an opponent's dash attack. Those prowesses are going to increase the buffs you get uh, or the abilities you apply on your special attacks. Her heavy attacks will, uh, while a firework search is active, will remove it. So if you accidentally trigger the wrong firework, you can heavy attack to remove it, which is nice. It gives you a little good potential, or it can allow you to just scale up prowesses to get longer buffs. So all of her special attacks add increased amounts of utility, especially depending on what kind of of uh, firework you're stacking. So if you're stacking the orange one, your special one is going to give you access to shock damage. Uh, and it's actually a solid amount of shock damage at 2300. Your special two on orange is going to give you incinerate. So she has access to both shocks and incinerates depending on what special you're launching. Uh, the special two sh incinerate damage is okay. It's really not that great, but with the scaling prowesses, I do believe that will scale on the damage, so it's a potential for a really good amount of damage and a really solidly long damage debuff for both of them. Um, to a degree, the special 2 incinerate debuff is roughly twice as long as a special 1 when you account for the fact that for each prowess she has, it's going to increase the duration of that effect by 1 second. So even though 9 seconds is not half of 22, because of the frequency with which you're launching special 1s and then the prowess is it's going to be essentially the same uptime as far as having that debuff active 
Um, next up is if you're in the pink phase. If you're in pink, then you can inflict a taunt debuff. This will last for nine seconds. Uh, so that's solid as well. Uh, and this is at the end of the special. So a nine second taunt, uh, potentially up to even longer, maybe like a 15 second taunt is really good to have on a special one. And that is the right place to have it. Um, and if you're in pink on special two, then you're infl inflicting a, a suppression debuff, which reduces the opponent's defensive combat power rate by 25%. Uh, for a really long time as well. So between pink uh, on the SP2 and pink just from the pre-fight, we're looking at 55% combat power rate reduction, which is, again, it's it's okay. Like, you've reached a number between the two of having to get to a special two. It's it's substantial. It's, it's a noticeable amount. But when we're talking about power control, we're looking at champions where maybe there's 200% power gain or Hyperion. Like, this just isn't going to be able to compete. It's not going to be able to hold up. It's not going to be a relevant utility. It's just going to essentially let you pummel into the opponent for more damage, more hits, before having to bait a special. So unfortunately, it's just not the greatest utility. So I'm going to nix that one as not relevant enough. Um, so next we talk about blue. So blue inflicts a slow debuff, um, again, for 9 seconds, potentially significantly longer on the SP1. So good utility there. And then also a con concussion debuff on SP2 which reduces the opponent's ability accuracy by 25%. And again, this is where we talk about the numbers mattering. So between the pre-fight being in that fire white, firework surge, as well as the uh, concussion debuff from the special two, you're looking at 75% ability accuracy reduction, and it's just not enough. Like, this needed to be 50% for me to feel like it would it was good enough. Honestly, even if they tied it to like the signature ability, which they don't, but if they tied it to the signature ability to give you access to 100%, then we're talking about a whole different power level on ability accuracy reduction. But unfortunately, it's not. So for me, it just it just misses the mark a little bit. Her awakened ability is just damage, um, which is nice. And the damage potential here could be really really solid. She might come out guns a blazing as this like massive damage dealing mutant, which is great. But if if you know anything about me in the last several months, I don't hype up damage champions anymore. We're just past the point, like we have enough champions in the game who do damage. We need champions who do damage and provide utility. So to sum, the reason why I'm not impressed with Jubilee is because the axis of utility that she actually has that I deem relevant is an incinerate debuff, a shock debuff, and a taunt debuff. And while the incinerate and the shock are potentially very powerful, a lot of the times when you need those, you also need immunity to them simultaneously, and she just doesn't have that. And the taunt debuff is nice, but it's definitely one of the more underutilized abilities in the game, so I'm just not impressed by it. Um, especially given you have to use it on the SP1 and it's not off like a heavy or just like attacking into the opponent or a passive like She-Hulk or Stark Enhanced. So that's where I lose interest. Finally, the reason why I say she is a defender is that when on all of her specials, it says when the last hit lands or, sh or strikes into a block. This is why I think she's a defender, and this is why I think this is the focus, is because in the orange phase, she applies a shock or an incinerate. So if you're going up against Jubilee as a defender, which I believe she probably will automatically default to orange, um, it doesn't say anything about that here, but I'm going to guess that's what happens is it's default orange because that's how they've done the previous ones it defaults to the first one so for the first 16 seconds the special one and special two of jubilee you cannot let hit into your block otherwise you need to bring a shock immune champion and make sure you bait the sp1 or you need to bring a incinerate champ immune champion and bait the sp2 or you need to dex the last hit now i don't know what the specials look like they could be physical specials it could be easy to dodge projectile specials but if they're not, if they're specials you need to block, then this is a massive frustration for the attacker. And honestly, I'm, I'm just guessing. I think they're going to be hard to dex or something you can't dex. Uh, and it's going to run into issues where you need to bring either shock immune or incinerate immune or power control champion to deal with these. So that's my thoughts on Jubilee. As always, let me know if you think I missed something, you think maybe I'm being too harsh on her, maybe you think I'm right and she looks like a defender to you as well. But no matter what, I hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.